Hi friends, Allison here, swinging by to share with you a new scrapbooking layout today. I decided to try some new to me Tim Holtz mist um, today as well. Yesterday's video, which I did for Scrapbook Nerd, was the same thing. I used salvaged patina in that layout. This layout I used kitsch flamingo and I love it. I need to get the ink now because I really want to stamp with it. Actually, not even the ink. I want it all. <laughs> Both for salvaged patina and kitsch flamingo as well. I'm also using some patterned paper from Coco Vanilla Studio, I want to say. I don't think that's right. I'm going to have to double check that. I'm pretty sure now actually that it's not Coco Vanilla because I don't think I have any other paper in 12 by 12. Um, but I will link the products that I use um, in today's video down in the description box below. Um, yeah, I'm, I totally, it escapes me. I added more stitching, hand stitching to my layout as well. I did three sides of the white cardstock that everything is adhered to. The last side I didn't need to do it because it was going to be covered by the torn pieces of paper to the left hand side. The other elements that I hand stitched were some of the daisies. I laid everything out on the layout, <laughs> on the base, that sounded kind of funny. Just so I had an idea of where to put the largest of the daisies. And then before I glued it down and the photos, I wanted to adhere the large leaves that I just glued right now. I wanted to make sure that I got the placement correct before I committed to putting everything down. Now I'm doing the same thing here as well in the top left hand corner. I knew that I wanted to layer the fl the picture over top of the flower but I didn't want the flower to hang off at all so I eyeballed it and now I'm committing. I'm just using some foam craft foam to pop the photos up just a little bit. They are all printed at two by two inches and they're all matted to white cardstock and it's just scrap paper that I had in my stash. There are five pictures in total and they are adhered randomly down the page and the daisies are kind of sprinkled amongst them as well. Right now I'm adding little washi tape borders to the top picture and the bottom picture. The top picture also has a little bit of gray washi tape that I adhered, adhered behind the picture and then I put the blue washi tape over top of it. The blue washi tape I actually adhered to some scrap white cardstock first and then trimmed it off or down and then tore the edges just to make it look like it was torn tape. The reason I did that is because I didn't want anything to show through the washi tape and sometimes that happens because washi tends to be so thin. It also helps to keep the colors of the washi tape vibrant so it doesn't end up looking muddy or even fade into the background. So that's why I add it to cardstock. It also helped to add a little bit of uh, sturdiness to the washi tape as well because I knew that it would partially be hanging off of the photo. I could have trimmed it down but I decided against it. I just wanted to leave it as it was and so in order to keep the washi tape from sticking to the stuff that was underneath it, I added it to cardstock. I'm just adding the date right now to the left hand side of, or sorry, the right hand side of the page. I've also added my journaling as well. <laughs> this layout is about my inability to keep plants alive. I have the blackest thumb around except for these five plants. Um, the one are, is a hosta, one of a number of hostas that grow uh, in my front yard. And then the other plants are ones that are found inside my home. And they're the only ones that I have ever been able to keep alive. Like seriously, I can't even keep cactus alive. So that's, that's how black my thumb is. <laughs> I don't know what it is about these plants that has enabled me to keep them alive but 
I'm killing it. In the best sense of the word. This layout was really simple to make. It came together super fast. Like even though this video was only like six minutes long, it literally took me 20 minutes, maybe even less than that to put it together. Uh, so if you want to recreate this layout yourself, you can definitely do that. I do share all of my layouts in Cricut Design Space in the community. Um, it's free for anybody that wants to use it in their own personal crafting. I'll leave the link to my account in Cricut Design Space down below as well if you wanted to check that out. Here's the close-ups. Thank you so much for joining me today, my friends. I hope you're having a fantastic week and I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and a like and I will be back again soon. Bye, friends.